Hello and welcome back. It's Double O Debbie, and this is episode 44 of my Dire Wolf 1.18 Let's Play. In today's episode, yes, I have something I need to show you. Look at this. I've never seen this before with the other backpack. But look, you can see it on your back. Isn't that cool? It's got a little blue dots because it's got diamond upgrade and stuff. So that's really cool. Hello, Mr. Wheeled Walker. Uh, I'll let Sheba come out to play with our little Wheeled Walker over here. She's enjoying herself. Uh, I had a breakthrough after I ended the last episode. I was like, I had an epiphany. <laughs> I know, it sounds weird, but... I was like, I don't have an amethyst to look for an amethyst, but I do know that around the amethyst geode is a calcite layer. So I configured my scanner uh, to look for calcite. So I added that in the module block. So that is cool. And gave it a little scan and you can see it does pick up the calcite but this stuff up here at the surface is not a geode it's just uh some deposits of calcite near the surface so i thought well maybe if i go down into my mine shaft and have a peek down there it might show me something so i went all the way down to the diamond level uh, but I didn't see anything down there. So I thought, well, I have that level uh, where I was mining for diamonds, but it wasn't very successful because it wasn't down far enough. So I came to this level and did a little <laughs> scan and check it out. There is a geode over here. It looks like an actual geode. It's round. And it looks like it has a, you know, a, a doodad. So I'm going to use my mining gadget to head down that way. <clears throat> Is this on? <clears throat> no, it's not on <clears throat> precise. Good. <clears throat> <clears throat> I need to get the range upgrades for this thing. Because that would be useful. Here it is! Here it is! Block of Amethyst. Now, I don't know if this will harvest that or if I need a silk touch to get this. So maybe I should be a little careful here. Hex notebook. Hex casting research. What did I do? I didn't do anything. Okay, I need a little bit of light. All right, um, I guess I need to break this. Uh-oh. Got it. Okay. Oh, we got a block of amethyst, an amethyst shard, and amethyst dust. Oh, this is exactly what we need. So let's uh, use a little light to light this up. Oh, it was part of the cave system. Nice. Amethyst cluster. Um, oh, this is so good. I don't know how to... Do I want to move it? Okay, so it's... Oh, that budding amethyst. I gotcha. So I wonder if I did my ritual down here, 
if he would um, get me more cameras. Oh, this is good. Oh, we get all the amethyst. Oh, I'm so glad I watch other people's YouTube channels. <laughs> I never would have known about the scanner to be able to find this. And I've been wanting to use amethyst uh, for a long time. So I'm assuming that off of these budding amethysts, more crystals will spawn. Oh, yes. Um, let's get another light board. Somewhere that will not interfere with our budding amethyst. Oh, look, another one already grew. Oh, that is so good. And we got... 47 amethyst shards and some amethyst dust. Oh, the hex casting is a new mod that magic mod that was put in uh, with the update, which I updated. And we got some charged amethyst. Nice. So we get another magic mod to explore. Um, and there was another besides hex casting. Hex casting research. Oh, it was this. No. No. Oh, it's from last episode. Uh, yeah, so this was very good. We're already getting regrowth. There's another one up there. Awesome. So, oh, and look, there's another one coming out here. This is so good. Um, Oh, so I guess I should get my ritual down here. Did I put, yeah, I got it down here, but I need a new tablet. And that means I need more source gems. Uh, so let's go ahead and split these. This was so useful. I'm glad that I remembered that. Uh, oh, and I can put that calcite block back away. This is so good. I did the things. I did the things. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I just don't know what, what to do now. Uh, do I get that amethyst golem going? <laughs> That would be really awesome if I could get a steady income of amethyst. That way I could have all the source gems that I need. Uh, because I am using up, I have, I'm using up a lot of lapis making my source gems. And I, I could use that. Oh yeah, check it out. I moved my project board down to here and I got some more stuff. Uh, let's see, I become an all-powerful wizard, I have minions do my bidding, and I have minions protect me, and I'm going to take over the world, and then I've got, uh, so, oh, I better sleep. Oh, let's go see if our golem is going to protect us. Oh my god, I didn't sound like there's so much stuff up here. Look at him! Oh no! Ah! Ah! Run away! Get in the water! Get in the water! Whew. Oh look, he's kind of jacked now. Are you okay, buddy? I oh look, they regen. So that's good. Oh look at him, all decked out. He's got a backpack. Whoa! Look at him. He's an adventuring zombie. <laughs> Buddy, you best pack a lunch. <laughs> I wanted that backpack. What did he have in it? He didn't have anything in his backpack. I find that hard to believe that 
a zombie was carrying around a backpack that was completely empty. Yeah. Okay, so let's eat. Um. Yes, I have a little bit of information about some of the things that I want. Like, this was the wheeled walker. I wanted a cascading one. We did do that. We figured that out. Uh, I also want to figure out the... Uh, And with this, uh, we're working on that now. Uh, but I want you can get whirly sprigs, and they can harvest wood, crops, and flowers and seeds. Uh, I forgot the seeds out there. The star bungles can uh, handle inventories and items, and drink bees will take care of animals and give you like the animal products without actually hurting the animals so that sounds pretty cool too uh there are more information about setting them up uh setting up areas where they can uh, do their job and be happy because you have to keep them happy too so that's crazy I didn't see anything about happiness with the uh the golems hey buddy why are you still over there are you stuck stuck okay okay that's fine um let's get another tablet do i need i need one of each of you and the flourishing Oh yeah, I need I need four more source gems, which I haven't got. Uh, I'm curious to uh if I get a star bungle, if I could automate this. Just put a hopper on top and then have him pull out all the source gems from that. I think that would work. Uh, so I need to figure out how to keep like the star bungles happy and and then I can set that thing up and get that automated because that would make my life so much easier if I didn't have to babysit this and, and click it all the time and then get my source gem out of it. Uh, so yes. Give me a few minutes and I will be right back once I get my four source gems. Okay, I have my four source gems. Oh, we got all these things. Uh, we want our tablet of awakening. I think. Uh, okay, so we have our. Also, I did make uh replace my lantern in my window with uh, a feral flare lantern so there should be less mobs spawning around and i probably don't even need this torch anymore okay, put it in here uh, i do want to leave that there just for a minute also carry an area downstairs for uh, my Minecraft test kitchen. <laughs> uh, it's going to be great. So let's let's go down to here and see about getting this thing going. Um, I may need a way to collect the amethyst, but I'm not sure how I want to do that yet. Uh, I may just uh, think when I made Botania or my when I was messing around with Botania for the mob farm and I made the hopper hopper didn't I make another one 
I thought I made two of them. I don't see it. So, oh, I made two of the soul acknowledgments. That is correct. Well, I thought I could do that. So if we had just another... Copper clock, we could do this. So a root of air, a redstone root. I don't have it going. Why can't these things just be ready for me? <laughs> okay, so let me get another hopper hawk and I'll be right back and we'll go see about setting this golem up. Okay, I'm ready to do this. Hitting the wrong button. Awesome. Okay, we've got stuff. Uh, also, I might need a bit of dirt. This one. And I kind of cleaned up my inventory a little bit. So it should be okay now. Hope this works. This got to work, right? It's going to work. I found, I found the budding amethyst, so uh, it's got to work. All right. Oh, yeah. So I wonder if it has to be, like, on the same level as the budding amethyst. I mind that. The Brazier here. Oh, I'm so scared. And then <laughs> Oh, it's happening. I hope it Oh it did it. Let's get you. Look at him go. Where are you going? Come back. No, I need my wand. Uh, wand of Dominion. Hey, buddy. You. Did it say in, stored entity? Uh, I want your home to be right here. What are you doing? Okay, let's get our chest. I think this is an area that is not filled with budding stuff. Okay, so that one out. Put our dirt, copper. Um, we might need to do a little bit of landscaping around here. Hey, buddy, you need to come out of there. Get you out. You can do it. <laughs> All right. I think I'm going to level this out. Uh, we'll go ahead and call the episode here because we can go to the end with this golem. And I'm going to maybe shut this area off to that way. He's going to be a little bit safer. It is home. Uh, yeah, it doesn't look like they're doing anything. I think it might be because he's not, he's not at the level to do anything. Uh, so, I think maybe I could. Way some of this. Whoa, need to do that. Just make sure I don't hit any of the budding ones. 
little guy i wish you would come out of there oh thank you thank you for listening to me I don't get that very often anymore. oh he's doing stuff oh i didn't i didn't want to cover that one up Oh, he looks like he's busy doing stuff. Maybe we can put this here. I wonder if he'll automatically put stuff in the chest. <clears throat> um, maybe if I make his phone the chest. <clears throat> I'm sad. I don't know how that's going to work. Uh, so I guess um, I will let him do his thing. Look, it's got like little swirlies going around there. I wonder if that means he's, he's doing stuff. Oh, he's so cute. Oh, I'm so glad I figured that. I thought it was the amethyst that was over in the forest, not the ones underground. So, <laughs> I wonder how long it takes for him to do his thing. Buddy, you're going the wrong way. Um, he seems to like this one though. Maybe if I wind out. Oh, look, there's another one right under there. I thought I did this with the salt. There you go. Clear away the area. <laughs> to, uh, so he can get on all sides. <laughs> Uh-oh. I'm not trying to mind you, buddy. And then he has that one right there, too, so I wonder if he'll do that one. Oh. Just kind of make a little area so that all the amethysts can grow. And it looks like it's kind of dark over here. Oh, yeah. It's so good. Love it. And he's going over here to this one. Did he just make that one turn into a budding amethyst? Or was it like I don't know. <laughs> I'm gonna sit here and watch him because uh, it's fun. <laughs> uh, so I'll go ahead and end the episode here. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye!